Well, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto or welcome to the channel if you're new and welcome to this uh, new video in which we will talk about why a bull market could start soon. And I know this all sounds very clickbaity and, and the title and the thumbnail are, are very clickbaity. I know, but trust me, you will want to hear this um, because uh, something is very close to happening. The last two times that that happened, we started the bull market, the last bull market and a bull market in, 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 uh, in, in 2017. So you need to know about this. All right, you just do. Um, so what we will talk about is the dollar strength index, all right, which is basically an index here. You can see the chart. It, it has a chart as, as most financial instruments um, that's measuring the strength of the dollar. So what you can see is that it was super bullish from uh, 2021 when the um, uh, when well, that, that was not uh, w w when the bear market started, but in the entire bear market until October 2022. It has been very bullish and since then it has also still been relatively high and it's been consolidating. Now something interesting is happening with this um, and that is that we are we have been consolidating but at this point of time we are at the bottom of the consolidation and we are not finding as much support as we did the last couple of times. All right the last couple of times that we hit the support we relatively quickly bounced back up. So what that means is that the dollar strength index is at risk of breaking down, especially also in the light of the interest rate decision coming next week with the potential of seeing a 50 base point rate cut. I think uh, um, we will see a 25, 0.25% um, um, rate cut. But regardless of that, the interest rates in the US are going down, which is bearish for the dollar strength index. The dollar strength index is negatively correlated with asset markets such as stocks and crypto. So usually when this goes up, um, stocks, crypto go down, usually, not always, but all right. Um, and what's interesting is that, especially with those fundamentals in mind, looking at the technicals, there is a real opportunity here, a real possibility that the dollar strength index is going bearish, all right? If we fail to hold this level right here around 101, um, we have we have lost this consolidation and then it's likely that we are going to get into that downtrend. Now, at this point of time, and, and that is something you definitely need to remember, at this point of time, we are not trending down yet. All right. It is only going to be very bullish for Bitcoin if we actually get into that downtrend. Um, and we still have a lot of support at, at 100 as well. It's a major psychological level. So we're, we're not there yet. But why this is interesting is because the last two times that the dollar strength index turned bearish, we actually started the bull market. All right. So if we go back into time, like I said, um, middle of 2020, uh, 2021 until October 2022, it was, like I said, very, very bullish. The last time we turned ba bearish. So here you can see an uptrend. And then right here, the uptrend was broken. So we turned bearish. The last time was the 29th of May 2020. Let's look at Bitcoin. All right. The 29th. Oh, that's the dominance. The 29th of May 2020. What did Bitcoin do? <clears throat> that was right. If we zoom in a little bit more, 29th of May 2020. Um, that was right here. All right. And, and look what happened afterwards. We got into. Well, first of all, we were just bullish for a little bit here. Got some bullish momentum. But then a couple of months after we actually started a huge bull run, as some of you might remember. Um, and, uh, and before that, you cannot see that on the chart here, but the other time, uh, what happened, we'll look at the price here, uh, but the other time the dollar strength index turned bearish. So we have to get back to the price. This was the time we just looked at the 29th of May. The other time we turned bearish after getting into an uptrend right here was right here. So that was the May of 2017, May of 2017. If you look at the price right here was right here. All right, Bitcoin at 2700 before rallying up to 19,000 in the 2017 bull market. So the last two times that the dollar strength index turned bearish, and now I need to remind you, we are not bearish yet. All right, so hold your horses. But the last two times we turned bearish, that was incredibly bullish for Bitcoin. And both times it was the start, although there was a little bit of lagging, all right? The first couple of months were just consolidating and slightly bullish. Um, but the other two times that it started a, a huge bull market. All right. So is this the only thing you need to know? Of course not. There's always other factors. Um, I made a video last week about whether I still expect the bull market to continue. 
uh, or the bull market to start in this case? And I think the answer is yes. This is something I think you need to know. This is something that could be very, very bullish. And just in general, keeping your eyes on the dollar strength index, I would 100% recommend. Um, but we are not there yet, nor is a bearish dollar strength index the only thing we need to get into a, a massive bull market. However, still bullish. I think you need to know that. Hopefully at the end of the video now you also think, well, wow, I, I, I'm, I'm happy I know that. Um, hopefully, because it, it, at least it made me a little bit more bullish, even though I already thought the bull market would uh, continue slash we would see more bull market. But those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Um, in the description and the pinned comments, you can also find more info on my uh, premium groups, which in, in which I gen generally just share my own trades and takes on the market. Um, it's profitable, might be something for you, but that's completely like, I will still release free content about trades as well. So don't worry too much about that. Maybe you're interested, check it out. For now though, that's what you need to know. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.